Hey, it's Francis, and I just found this in a pile of stuff. Someone was asking about cheesy Halloween sound effects. I remembered I had it, dug it up, and this is called Sound Machine. And it's got nine special effect sounds that just sound like absolute dog shit. What more could we need? Anyway, I'm going to sample it, and I'll show you how I you know, edit some samples together. And uh, my goal is to maybe turn some of these sounds into like pitched sounds and make a song out of it, um, which I think I'm gonna try doing on live stream. But for now, let's make some samples. This is not ideal. Normally I wouldn't do this on a video, but I thought this was just a really funny thing. <laughs> I can't wait for you to hear all these sounds. <laughs> um, and Really, all there is to do is to just sort of go for it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that one's really good. <laughs> And that's uh, really all there is to it. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more work here and edit them, get them to the same volume, um, and maybe even take some of these, um, yeah, something like that. I could probably chop up into notes and uh, make an instrument out of it. So I'm gonna start by zooming in on the waveforms. Uh, in Reaper, that's shift and up and down arrows. And I'm just trying to separate each of these sounds. Yeah, these are great. And now we have them all. Hopefully, this is nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fantastic. That means they're all accounted for. Oh, it's in processing. Normalize items. Uh, and what that does is it's going to put them all at like peaks at zero, peaks at minus 0.1, something like that. Yeah, minus 0.1 peaks. Okay, and from there, uh, let's just turn them all down a tiny bit. Cool. Okay. And now I just need to do fine tuning on each of them. I like to make my tracks really big for this. Um, sound machine. So I spent um, about three hours just now um, racking my brain trying to remember this video idea. Um, and I'm the kind of person that will have a lot of really great video ideas that I just won't make because I know I had one that I was going to make. And I've been planning to make this sound machine video for a few days and I forgot to write the idea down. Always write your ideas down. Uh, but luckily I brought it over to my desk and it was sitting just on top of my desk. So um, past me was merciful. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, I'm the kind of person that will have all these great ideas that I just can't do. I can't bring myself to do them because I was planning to make a sound machine video, but I couldn't remember that I was planning to make a sound machine video. So I just stare at the wall for three hours. <laughs> And I'm doing all this stuff visually right now. Like I said, I zoomed in and got a feel for what the um, background noise looks like. And I'm just putting a little fade on the edges. And uh, there's some ways to automate this, but because it's a pretty, um, 
like the fact that I'm tapping the machine that makes a sound and um, just sort of using a microphone playing it out of a speaker. It's not ideal. I'm sure someone's probably got these sounds on a computer somewhere. I could probably even look it up. Uh, and you could probably, like, uh, I think people call it circuit bending, something like that. Um, and, like, open it up and get out the soldering gun and stuff, but that's just not my, uh, my usual approach. So, I'm chopping it up manually. And this is what we're going to get. I'll make sure to make these samples available in case anyone else wants to... I just want to make sure these are organized to my liking. And there's nothing wrong with doing it your way. Whatever inspires you. So, um, that's a good time to save. Now the real um, decision ends up being whether or not I want to uh, process them further. And my inclination is to use some type of um, a compressor. And the reason for that is um, just because the transient information seems like it's kind of all over the place. But this thing's already kind of messed up and the compressor might accentuate some of that background noise that I'm getting. So, you know, there's some, some pros and cons. The next step here would be to uh, essentially decide what kind of uh, rendering we, we want to do. Essentially turning these into their own files, because if I were to like load one into a sampler right now, for example, um, this file is still just the whole audio file that I recorded. So um, instead of doing that, what I want to do is essentially create regions create regions from these. That action is called insert separate regions for each selected item. And now essentially what I can do is using the region render matrix, which uh, by default isn't down here. Again, that's uh, in the action list. Um, and that's called show region render matrix window, I believe. Show region. Yeah, this one show region render matrix window. I can um, essentially say that I want to render all of these. And in my render dialog, I can render nine files from the region render matrix. And I've made the decision to do one more thing before I render, which is to rename these based on what they sound like. And um, it's making me realize also that I think I want this as separated notes as well. And each of these gets to be its own thing. I'll probably fade each of these out. It'll be And now all of these are new regions. Just add them. And now that those are rendered, what I can do is go in my Media Explorer sound machine. And of course I rendered them by the wrong name. So, um, I'm going to do some surgery here, and I'm going to name these region. And, and now, <laughs> nice. And if I wanted to now. I could load these into a sampler and do whatever I want with them. It's glorious.
cool. That's exactly what I'm after. <laughs> One of these is... Let's use that one. And this one, I'm just going to turn it into like a weird sound. And let's see what happens. that a few times and maybe we'll do um, some kind of a piece of that gate to be a percussion instrument maybe even if we have to process the living crap out of it that's gonna work fine uh, and we're gonna make this shiftable to it and be done with it. I guess we're doing it. <laughs> Love it already. Um... This is basically the song. This is what we have to look forward to. I think what this means is that I'm going to have to use other stuff. This is just sound samples, sound machine, sound samples. <laughs> That's it. 
That's what we got. Delightful. Um, <laughs> I'll put these up on my website. I'm sure someone can come up with something better to do with them. I'll see you in a little bit on my stream. Bye.